Today we got some more information about DLC 5. A lot of stuff has been dug up and it's gonna blow your mind. Stay tuned. As well, we're gonna be talking about the new discussion that has been sparked up in the community about what if the DLC listed is a weapon DLC and not a DLC 5 for Black Ops 3. It's a valid point though and we're gonna be discussing everything about it in this video. As well, confirm the legitimacy whether or not this piece of information that says we're gonna get a new DLC is true or not. It is real but some people do have some doubts and we're gonna clear all of it up and if you do believe you'll have more reasons to believe. We're gonna get down to everything in this video but hey everybody what the heck is going on my name is Usman and let's just get right into it. If you're new to the channel definitely do consider subscribing. We do daily videos and live streams. There's just so much fire on live streams. Sometimes it's really hard to handle so definitely do consider subscribing by slapping that bell so you get notified when I stream but first things first there was an article posted by Greg Hoffman on March 30th. So if April Fool's Day comes to your mind, well, it was definitely up before that and it's a real website or Markets Insider where we can see reports of how much increase in revenue was for Activision Blizzard and that's what we're gonna focus on in this video. You can clearly see they are swimming in revenue and there was this post where we had this piece of content where it tells us we're going to get a new DLC for Black Ops 3. We covered about this in the previous video but now a new discussion has sparked up if it's a weapon DLC or a DLC DLC aka DLC 5. Now first of all let's confirm the legitimacy of this article. Now this is a place for investors to put money on products such as games, DLCs, etc. So Activision has to get information out about what are they working on, what they have done in the past and what is coming in the future. The date accuracy isn't accurate though but the listing of products, games, DLCs are and every single product man has to be true because some investors will be looking at it and they will be thinking about putting money on different products. Some will be putting money on the games, other will be putting money on DLCs or both. So everything listed has to be true otherwise let's say someone uh, go ahead and put money on a DLC and it's not even coming out. Well it's gonna hurt them and we do have a new DLC for Black Ops 3 confirmed to be released in this year 2017. We had word from Activision for a while now and now Everything is coming together from the live stream comics and UBS. There was a great, great Reddit post from the user Potato Guinness, aka SummersDude101 on Twitter, who puts the word Oblaze147, who's an investor and business insider. And now I cannot seem to find his post. I guess he took the post down, but it was reported by Potato Guinness, and it goes like this: I'm a trader slash investor and a gamer, so I can help you bridge this social gap because that's what it truly is. Investment analysts for hedge funds, mutual funds, and financial corps are themselves or report to managers who give zero shits about video games. They don't care whether they spell the name of the video game correctly or whether they use the correct terminology to describe the game. All they care about is getting the correct number of notable events and being descriptive enough for future inquiry. Even date accuracy is not a priority to a UBS analyst because they understand that the industry they are gathering in information about is chaotic and they don't expect these software services as they see them to always be released on time. With regards to whether or not they have inside information, I believe that they do, a DLC 5 would only receive the go-ahead from Activision Upper Management authorization for funding a project that size goes much higher up than Jason Blundell. Analysts at investment firms frequently go straight to the source and meet with a company's upper level management employee in person. In addition, Activision has every reason to reveal all of the numerous projects its development teams are working on. The more active they look to UBS, BlackRox, or JP Chase, the more likely it seems like they will release a software service that customers will enjoy, thus making them a more attractive investment opportunity. Now, for the most part, Activision management don't have to fear that they are revealing content to UBS. UBS will work its way over to the very same community they create products for because 
because uh, those are two completely separate worlds that they don't expect to interact. I guess my point is UBS won't, uh, wouldn't, would not bullshit this information. They wouldn't pull it out uh, their asses because this is what they do. They are financial services group and their job is to update investors. UBS analysts are good at their job. That's why they work at UBS. Also, my dude, Potato Guinness slash Summers Dude 101, who found this article, also has reported this to me. I'm not gonna put this picture on the screen because I'm afraid this is something I shouldn't put on the screen, but the investor, this is going to be the view of an investor, uh, Blaze147, this is going to be his view, I will link all the sources in the description below, and I will specifically uh, link that Reddit post that Potato Guinness, aka Summers Dude, have put out over on Reddit, and uh, that's where you need to click on to get what I'm actually going to read you right now. So, uh, this is a view, if you guys have opened it up on a new tab, this is the view of the investor, Blaze147 and he have highlighted couple of things that I will read and here the description reads the following meanwhile Activision is also extending game life and spurring engagement through periodic releases of additional downloadable content and increasing its digital revenue it's all about swimming in the revenue guys in 2017 the company's flagship Call of Duty uh, game will reflect this new style of play with extension packs for all of 2015 release a Black Ops 3 and the two 2016 releases Infinite War and Modern Warfare and that right there confirms that we will have more DLCs for Modern Warfare Remaster, Infinite Warfare and Black Ops 3 in 2017. Also COD Zombies HQ reached out to Greg, the guy that posted this article that Summers Dude 101 found and COD Zombies tweeted at Greg and it goes like this. So COD Zombies says, hi Greg, fantastic article, I was wondering if you have a specific link to source this image, thank you so much. And then Greg goes ahead and reply, hello, thanks for the kind words the image is from the analyst report unfortunately I do not have a link please follow and keep reading and cod zombie says no problem and thank you anyway uh, you could point us in the right direction to find that report our community team has been unsuccessful and then Greg goes ahead and says you would have to ask the bank but you may only be able to get it if you are an institutional client and I guess that's what blaze 147 is and that's what we got from him and he also confirms that this is a DLC 5. Now everything here confirms the legitimacy of this article and that a new DLC for Black Ops 3 is going to release. Now is it going to be a weapon DLC? Probably and most likely not. If you take a look in 2017 downloadable content there is just one mention of Black Ops 3 DLC and we all know we haven't got that and the release date of this is marked NA and there's nothing more and we all know we have got weapons DLC for Black Ops 3. We have got Ballistic Knife this year, even M16 Galil, and there may be more, but I do not know if there's more that was released this year. Definitely let me know in the comments below. And now, if we go ahead and go back in 2016, all the Black Ops 3 DLCs were reported, and uh, 2016 is accurate, because it's in the past, and this article was released recently, and here it says Black Ops 3 DLC packs were released in the first, second, and third quarter. And we know we have got a Newton's cookbook in December that was in quarter four that was released in quarter four and it is not listed here because that is not significant just like weapon DLCs aren't and that's why there is no mention of them there's mention of games and major downloadable content so investors can put their money on that they are not gonna put money on a weapon DLC because that is not significant and also the hype for a weapon DLC will go down in a week time and in 2016 also there there is no mention of a weapon DLC in those charts and whatnot. So uh, hopefully all of this makes sense to you guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I am absolutely pumped. Uh, but if you have enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button, hit that bell, subscribe uh, for more. And I'll see you guys very freaking soon.